Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to create clip art in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do the apple because it's the easiest and once you understand the apple, the other ones will be much easier. So I will choose the insert option in the upper left corner. I will choose the drop down of shapes and in this case I'm going to choose the curve tool. I'm going to click down at some point on the apple and I'm going to drag and click and I'm going to keep dragging and clicking. As I'm dragging, I'm clicking quite frequently. And I'm going to go until I go all the way around the apple. You may have to do this a couple of times. Now, if it's not exactly how you like it, you can always right click and choose Edit Points. Do you see the points there? You could actually click down somewhere on the line and drag it and it will create another point if you need it. You can also remove points if necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and add another point to make it more round. And you can see that's a rather attractive apple. You would select it, go to the shape fill, and change the color. You can change the outline by going to the shape outline and maybe choosing black. And you could also go back into that shape outline and change the weight. I like a thinner weight, so I'll choose that. Now that was just doing the apple. I'm going to show you something a little more complicated, which would be the butterfly. I'm going to perfect one wing, and then I'm going to group it, then I will copy it, and then I'll flip it. Because it's symmetrical, it's silly to create one wing and then another wing. That's a waste of time. So I will choose Insert, Shapes. I will choose the Curve tool. I will come around and make the outside of the wing. And I might change the color. You can make it the color of, of the butterfly you so choose. I might change the shape outline to thin and possibly black. I'm going to move it to the side. I'm going to draw the tip by using the curve. So I'll come in and I'll draw the tip at the top of that wing. And I'll drag it on top of that butterfly wing. And it's looking pretty good. I am into perfection, so I will change the outline to black, and I'm doing a one quarter point outline. And now I'm going to draw the heart. If you go to the insert, you go to the shapes, you will see that there's actually a heart shape already there. So I'll click on that heart, and I will perfect that wing. I will change the color maybe to red, change the outline to black, and change the thickness to a quarter point. Once that wing is exactly how you want it, you would select one part of the wing, hold the shift key, and then hold it till all parts are selected. Then you would right click, you would choose group, and then group again. If you needed to go back and re-edit that wing because you didn't like it, you would have to select it. You would then right click, group, and then ungroup, and you can continue editing. So I might right click and choose edit points, so I will then again reselect it with the shift tool. I will right click, group, and then group again. I would then, with that wing selected, I would do control C, the shortcut for copy. I would click off of that wing and do control V. I would then take the box and flip it so that I could have the other wing. Again, it would be silly to recreate that wing when you can just copy it and flip it. I would do the lower wing the same way. This is what I have so far for the bottom wing. You might want to go to the view option at the top, go to the zoom, and maybe choose 200% to zoom in. And I'll scroll down. It kind of helps to have a closer view of what you're working on, and it might make it a little easier to edit. I'm really trying to perfect this before I group it and duplicate it. You can rotate it if necessary. I do want to show you the inside is a circle, so instead of using the curve tool to make a circle, just go to the insert option, shapes, and use the oval tool. And then you can come in and draw that circle. Again, I'm going to go back to the shape, black, and the weight is one quarter point, and I'm going to change it to red. Once that's perfected, I will select all parts by holding the shift key, and then I will right click and choose group, and then group again. I would then do Control C on the keyboard, click off of the selection, and do Control V. I would then flip it. 
So I'll move it over here, I'll drag it, and I'll drag the other part. Now if you want these behind the top wings, you would right click and you would choose send to back. And you would do the same to the other wing, you would right click and then send to back. And for the body, I would use the curve. And I'll come in and probably make that brown. You can go to more fill colors and you can choose a color that way. And of course, I will change the thickness and the color to black and a quarter point. And then the head, obviously, I'm going to choose insert and I will use the circle, use the paint fill to color it. You can be very creative with the eyes by choosing the insert shapes. And you can see there's some interesting shapes here. I can maybe choose the moon shape. I probably will need to zoom in by going to view, zoom. I might set that to 400% and you'll have to get over to that butterfly. And that way you can see the rotation, which is that little green option. That eye's a little on the big side, so I would resize it. And I'm going to want to change that color. Maybe I'll take the shape outline and say no outline. And I'll copy it, control C, click off, control V. And then to do the antennas, I'm going to choose the insert, shapes. I will choose the curve and I will just start clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. And I'm taking my time. Double click to let go. You want to do the shape outline. Maybe I'll set it to brown. And if there's nothing wrong with it, I'll select it. I will copy it. I will paste it and I will flip it. So now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Maybe I'll choose 200% and I'm going to select all parts because I want to group the entire butterfly. This can get tricky. I'll hold the shift key to get all parts. Now remember those wings are already grouped so you don't have to group the inside like the heart. Those are already grouped so that's kind of nice. I'm going to right click, group, and then group again. Now if I move it, you can see that's my butterfly. I'm going to get rid of the original butterfly by choosing home. I will then go over here to the upper right and choose select, select object. I will select that butterfly and delete it. And this is my replication of the butterfly. This concludes a session on how to create clip art using Microsoft Word. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.